I'm sorry. Esperanto from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Esperanto is the most widely spoken constructed international auxiliary language. Its name derives from Doctoro Esperanto, the pseudonym under which L. L. Zamanov published the first book detailing Esperanto, the Unea Libro, in 1887. The word Esperanto means one who hopes in the language itself. The language's original name was La Insanatia Lingvo. Zamanov's goal was to create an easy to learn and politically neutral language that would serve as a universal second language to foster peace and international understanding. Esperanto has approximately 1,000 native speakers i.e. people who learned Esperanto as one of their native languages from their parents. There is controversy over the number of people who are fluent in Esperanto. Estimates range from 10,000 to as high as 2 million. The users are spread out in about 115 countries. This diverse and international community is evidence to most Esperanto speakers that the language is usable by people from all over the world and that it can establish communication between them. Although no country has adopted the language officially, Esperanto was officially recognised by UNESCO in 1954. Today, Esperanto is employed in world travel, correspondence, cultural exchange, conventions, literature, language instruction, television, movies, and radio broadcasting. The first International Esperanto Congress was organized in France, Boulogne-sur-Mer, in 1905. Since then, international conferences and meetings have been organized around the world with Esperanto every year. At least one major search engine, Google, offers searching of Esperanto related websites via an Esperanto portal. There is evidence that learning Esperanto may provide a good foundation for learning languages in general. 
Esperanto is also the language of instruction in one university, the Accademia Internazia della Scienza in San Marino. The article has a table of contents. The topics are history with relation to 20th century totalitarianism, official use, linguistic properties covering classification, writing system, phonology, grammar, vocabulary, useful phrases, a sample text. The next section is education with language acquisition, then community covering geography and demography, culture, famous authors in Esperanto, popular culture, science, goals of the movement, symbols and flags, politics, and various religions, such as the Umutu, the Baha'i Faith, Spiritism, Bible translations, Christianity, and Islam. The next section is criticism, followed by modifications and epinomous entities. History. Esperanto was created in the late 1870s and early 1880s by Dr. Ludovic Lazarus Zamenov, a Polish Jewish ophthalmologist from Bielystok at the time of the Russian Empire. According to Zamenov, he created this language to foster harmony between people of different countries. His feelings in the situation in Bielystok may be gleaned from an extract from his famous letter to Nikolai Borovko. The place where I was born and spent all my childhood gave direction to all my future struggles. In beer livestock, the inhabitants were divided into four distinct elements. Russians, Poles, Germans and Jews. Each of these spoke their own language and looked on all the others as enemies. In such a town, a sensitive nature feels more acutely than elsewhere the misery caused by language division and sees at every step that the diversity of languages is the first, or at least the most influential, basis for the separation of the human family into groups of enemies. I was brought up as an idealist. I was taught that all people were brothers. While outside in my street, at every step, I felt there were no people, only Russians, Poles, Germans, Jews, and so on. This was always a great torment to my infant mind, although many people may smile at such anguish for the world in a child, since at that time I thought that grown-ups were omnipotent, so I often said to myself that when I grew up, I would certainly destroy this evil. L. L. Zamenhof, in a letter to one N. Borovko, 1895. After some ten years of development, which Zamenhof spent translating literature into Esperanto, as well as writing original prose and verse, the first book of Esperanto grammar was published in Warsaw in July 1887. The number of speakers grew rapidly over the next few decades, at first primarily in the Russian Empire and Eastern Europe, then in Western Europe, the Americas, China and Japan. In the early years, speakers of Esperanto kept in contact primarily through correspondence and periodicals. But in 1905, the first World Congress of Esperanto speakers was held in boulogne sur mer France. Since then, World Congresses have been held in different countries every year, except during the two world wars. Since the Second World War, they have been attended by an average of over 2,000 and up to 6,000 people. Relation to 20th century totalitarianism 
As a potential vehicle for international understanding, Esperanto attracted the suspicion of many totalitarian states. The situation was especially pronounced in Nazi Germany, Imperial Japan and the Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin. In Germany, there was an additional motivation to persecute Esperanto, because Zamenhof was Jewish. In his work, Mein Kampf, Hitler mentioned Esperanto as an example of a language that would be used by an international Jewish conspiracy once they achieved world domination. Esperantists were killed during the Holocaust, with Zamenhof's family in particular singled out for murder. In the early years of the Soviet Union, Esperanto was given a measure of government support and an officially recognised Soviet Esperanto Association came into being. However, in 1937, Stalin reversed this policy. He denounced Esperanto as the language of spies and had Esperantists exiled and executed. The use of Esperanto was effectively banned until 1956. After the Spanish Civil War, Francoist Spain persecuted the anarchists and Catalan nationalists among which Esperanto was extended, but in the 1950s the Esperanto movement was tolerated again. Official use Esperanto has never been an official language of any recognised country. However, there were plans at the beginning of the 20th century to establish neutral Morsnet of the world's first Esperanto state. Huan Huntong, a Chinese linguist, promoted the replacement of Chinese with Esperanto. In addition, the self-proclaimed artificial island micronation of Rose Island used Esperanto as its official language in 1968. The US Army has published military phrasebooks in Esperanto to be used in war games by mock enemy forces. In the summer of 1924, the American Radio Relay League adopted Esperanto as its official international auxiliary language and hoped that the language would be used by radio amateurs in international communications, but its actual use for radio communications was negligible. Esperanto is the working language of several non-profit international organisations such as the Senatsaisia Asocio Tutmonda. Most others are specifically Esperanto organisations. The largest of these, the World Esperanto Association, has an official consultative relationship with the United Nations and UNESCO. Esperanto is also the first language of teaching and administration of one university, the International Academy of Sciences, San Marino. Linguistic properties. Classification. As a constructed language, Esperanto is not genealogically related to any ethnic language. It has been described as a language lexically predominantly Romanic, morphologically intensely agglutinative and to a certain degree isolating in character. The phonology, grammar, vocabulary and semantics are based on the Western Indo-European languages. The phenomic inventory is essentially Slavic, as is much of the semantics, while the vocabulary derives primarily from the Romance languages, with a lesser contribution from the Germanic languages. Pragmatics and other aspects of the language not specified by Zamenhof's original documents were influenced by the native languages of early speakers, primarily Russian, Polish, German and French. Typologically, Esperanto has prepositions and a free pragmatic word order that by default is subject, verb, object. Adjectives can be freely placed before or after the nouns they modify, though placing them before the noun is more common. New words are formed through extensive prefixing and suffixing. Writing system 
Esperanto is written with a modified version of the Latin alphabet, including six letters with dear critics. Ch, J, Ch, J, Sh, using circumflexes, and W, with a brief. The alphabet does not include the letters in English Q, W, X, or Y, except in unassimilated foreign names. The 28 letter alphabet is A, B, S, Ch, D, E, F, G, J, H, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, Sh, T, O, W, V, and Z. Writing diacritic letters. The letters with diacritics found in the Latin extended A section of the Unicode standard once caused problems with printing and computing. This was particularly true with the five letters with circumflexes, as they do not occur in any other language. The diacritics are normally only a problem now with computing situations such as internet chat groups and databases that are limited to ASCII characters. There are two principal workarounds to this problem, which substitute digraphs for the accented letters. Zamenhof, the inventor of Esperanto, created a H convention, which replaces CH, J, CH, J, SH, and W with CH, GH, HH, JH, SH, and U, respectively. A more recent X convention has gained ground since the advent of computing. This system replaces each diacritic with an X after the letter, producing the six D graphs CX, GX, HX, JX, SX, and UX. There are computer layouts that support the Esperanto alphabet and some systems use software that automatically substitute X or H convention digraphs with the corresponding diacritic letters. One example of this is EK for Microsoft Windows. Another example is the Esperanto Wikipedia, which uses the X convention. When e.g. CX is entered, this will automatically appear as the correct CH in the saved text. Phonology Esperanto has 22 consonants, 5 vowels and 2 semivowels, that combine with the vowels to form 6 diphthongs. Tone is not used to distinguish the meanings of words, and stress is always on the penultimate vowel in fully Esperanto words unless the final vowel, O, is elided. A practice which occurs mostly in poetry. For example, familio, family, is familio, with the stress on the final e. But when the word is used without the final o, family, the stress remains on the e, family. Consonants. This branto has 22 consonants. The sound r is usually rolled but may be tapped, r. The v is normally pronounced like an English v. 
V, but may be pronounced V, v between the English V and W, or W, depending on the language background of the speaker. A semi-vowel, W, occurs normally in diphthongs after the vowels A and E, not as a consonant W. Common, if debated, assimilation includes the pronunciation of nyuk and kz. A large number of consonant clusters can occur, up to three in initial position, as in stranga, which means strange, and four in medial position, as in instrui, meaning teach. Final clusters are uncommon except in foreign names. Poetic liaison of the final u and a few very basic words such as sent for a hundred and post after. Vowels. There are only five vowels and a good deal of variation in pronunciation is tolerated. A glottal stop may occur between adjacent vowels in some people's speech, especially when the two vowels are the same, as in hero o and praavo. Grammar. Esperanto words are derived by stringing together prefixes, roots and suffixes. This process is regular so that people can create new words as they speak and be understood. Compound words are formed with the modifier first, head final order, as in English, compare bird song and songbird, and likewise birdo canto and canto birdo. The different parts of speech are marked with their own suffixes. All common nouns end in o. All adjectives end in a. All adverbs end in e. And all verbs in one of the six tense and mood suffixes, such as the present tense, as. Plural nouns end in oi, whereas direct objects end in on. Plural direct objects end in the combination oin. Dasho indicates the word is a noun. Dash ya indicates the plural and dash na indicates the accusative. Adjectives agree with their nouns. Their endings are plural, I, accusative, an, and plural accusative, ain. The suffix na, besides indicating the direct object, is used to indicate movement and a few other things as well. The six verb inflections consist of three tenses and three moods. They are present tense, as, future tense, os, past tense, is, infinitive mood, i, Conditional mood, us, and jussive mood, u, used for wishes and commands. Verbs are not marked for personal number. For example, canti means to sing, mi cantas means I sing, vi cantas means you sing, and illi cantas means they sing. Word order is comparatively free. Adjectives may precede or follow nouns. Subjects, verbs and objects may occur in any order. However, the article la, demonstratives such as tu, for that, and prepositions such as che, for at, must come before their related nouns. Similarly, the negative ne, for not, and conjunctions such as kai and ke and then that must precede the phrase or clause they introduce. 
In copolar, A equals B clauses, word order is just as important as in English. People are animals is distinguished from animals are people. Vocabulary. The core vocabulary of Esperanto was defined by Lingual Internatia, published by Zamenhof in 1887. The book listed 900 roots. These could be expanded into tens of thousands of words using prefixes, suffixes and compounding. In 1897, Zamenhof published the first Esperanto dictionary, Universala Votaro which had a larger set of roots. The rules of the language allowed speakers to borrow new roots as needed. It was recommended, however, that speakers use the most international forms and then derive related meanings from these. Since then, many new words have been borrowed, primarily, but not solely, from the Western European languages. Not all proposed borrowings became widespread, but many do, especially technical and scientific terms. Terms for everyday use, on the other hand, are more likely to be derived from existing roots. Computillo, computer, for instance, is formed from the verb computi, compute, and the suffix illo, tool. Words acquire new meanings based on usage in other languages. For instance, the word muso, mouse, has acquired the meaning of a computer input device based on the parallel usage in English. Esperanto speakers often debate about whether a particular borrowing is justified or whether meaning can be expressed by deriving from or extending the meaning of existing words. Some compounds and formed words in Esperanto are not entirely straightforward. For example, el doni, literally give out, means publish, paralleling the usage of certain Western European languages, such as German. In addition, the suffix um has no defined meaning. Words using the suffix must be learned separately, such as dextren, to the right and dextrumen clockwise. There are not many idiomatic or slang words in Esperanto as these forms of speech tend to make international communication difficult, working against Esperanto's main goal. Useful phrases. We will now list some useful Esperanto words and phrases. English first, followed by Esperanto. Hello. Saluton. Yes. Yes. No. Ne. Good morning. Bonan matenon. Good evening. Bonan vesperon. Good night. Bonan nocton. Goodbye. Gis revido. What is your name? Kiel vi nomijas? My name is John. Mi nomijas Johanna. How are you? Kiel vi fartas? Do you speak Esperanto? Tu vi prolas Esperanton? I don't understand you. Mi ne comprenas vin. All right. Bonne. Okay. Juste. Thank you. Dankon. You're welcome. Nedan kinder. Please. Bon volu. Gesundheit. Sanon. Congratulations. Gratulon. I love you. Mia mes vin. One beer, please. Unu bieron mi petas. What is it? Kio estas tio? That is a dog. Tio estas hundo. Peace. Patson. The following short extract gives an idea of the character of Esperanto. 
En multaj lokoj de Ĉinio estis temploj de drako reĝo. Dum tro sekeco oni preĝis en la temploj, ke la drako reĝo donu pluvon al la homa mondo. Tiam drako estis simbolo de la supernatura estaĵo, kaj pli poste ĝi fariĝis prapatro de la plej altaj regantoj, kaj simbolis la absolutan autoritaton de feuda imperiestro. La imperiestro pretendis ke li estas filo de la drako. Ĉiuj liaj vivbezonaĵoj portis la nomon drako kaj estis ornamitaj per diversaj drakofiguroj. Nun ĉie en Ĉinio videblas drako ornamentaĵoj kaj cirkulas legendoj pri drakoj. So if you want to listen to the rest of the speech, you can go to Wikipedia and just click here, starting from minute 29. Just want to show you another, um, this one, just a few minutes. La Eta Princo, Vergita de Antono de Sancta Exuperio. Dedicio del autoro al Leon Vert. Pardonu, infanoi, que mi dedicis citiun libron al grand persono. Mi havas seriosan sen culpigon. Diu grand persono estas la plei bona amico qui un mi havas en la mondo. Mi havas alian sen culpigon. Diu grand persono capablas cion compreni et por infanaien libroin. Mi havas trian sen culpigon. Tiu gran persono logas en Francio, qui edi suferas pro mausato cae mauvarmo. Espanyol, English, Deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos en English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur Videos in Englisch und Spanisch. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ya algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now already some weeks ago I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video im BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten äh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im moment is der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. 
Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my for the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder trinkgeld im restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin. De direcciones de Bitcoin. When you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die, uh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüsseln, um, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 
15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener. Tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in, this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma, das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo he explicado uh, cómo he tomado la decisión de los cuatro años. In my old video, I explained how I made the decision for the four years. In meinem original video habe ich erklärt, wie ich zu die Entscheidung getroffen habe uh, mit den vier Jahren. A continuación voy a pegar este video. Now, later, I will paste this video. Im Anschluss werde ich diesen Video ankleben. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy económico. Uh, at the moment the price of Bitcoin is very cheap. Pero casi todo el mundo tiene muy poco dinero para invertir. But almost everybody has a very little money to invest. Debería decir que esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And 
Así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a rather a game. Um, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y Uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, I explain. Después, I expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque 
te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons eh, la gente tiene cuatro dedos y solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in the Simpsons people have a four fingers and only God has five fingers? Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be a big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's... This is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have, have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. <coughs> 